A new coronavirus with high transmission rates has recently spread to many countries, causing pneumonia, COVID-19, in the human body. Although the mortality rate of COVID-19 is not high, it is still difficult to treat severe or critical patients. One of the key causes for mortality in COVID-19 is inflammatory storms. So what is an inflammatory storm? To defend against viruses and other pathogens, our bodies have developed an elaborate and complex immune system, including various kinds of immune cells. However, some viruses that are difficult to get rid of can lead to overactivation of immune cells, which may recruit more immune cells and create an inflammatory storm. A large number of inflammatory cells and mucus gathering in the lungs can block the gas exchange between alveoli and capillaries, resulting in acute respiratory distress syndrome. These overactive immune cells can further attack other organs in the body, causing multiple organ failure. Therefore, more than the virus itself, the inflammatory storm caused by an overactive immune response is the critical cause of mortality in severe COVID-19. Inflammatory storm involves many cytokines. Which one is the key to trigger the inflammatory storm in severe COVID-19 is still unknown. After a comprehensive analysis of the blood from 33 patients with severe or critical COVID-19, the research team from Professor Haiming Wei in the University of Science and Technology of China, USTC, has identified that after the coronavirus infection, the pathogenic T cells were rapidly activated to produce granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor, GMCSF, and interleukin-6, IL-6. GMCSF further induced CD14-positive and CD16-positive inflammatory monocytes, which produced more IL-6 and other inflammatory cytokines, leading to inflammatory storms. Therefore, IL-6 and GMCSF are two key inflammatory cytokines in patients with severe COVID-19. According to the above basic results, the research teams from Professor Haiming Wei and Professor Zhao Ling Zhu from the first affiliated hospital of USTC speculated that tocilizumab, an IL-6 blocking antibody through targeting IL-6 receptors, can block COVID-19 inflammatory storms and quickly formulated a new treatment of tocilizumab plus conventional treatment. 21 patients diagnosed as severe or critical COVID-19 were recruited and given tocilizumab therapy. After the treatment, the temperature of all the patients returned to normal. The respiratory function and all other symptoms improved remarkably. These 21 patients are all discharged now. The existing clinical data show that the research team of USTC has discovered the mechanism of inflammatory storm in patients with COVID-19 and found the effective drug to block inflammatory storms, which can prevent patients from becoming severe or critical and reduce mortality of severe COVID-19 cases. USTC's plan of tocilizumab treatment has been formally included in the seventh edition of the Diagnosis and Treatment Program of COVID-19 of the National Health Commission of China since March 3, 2020, and nearly 500 severe or critical cases have been treated this way. At the same time, the tocilizumab treatment has also been adopted in Italy, Iran, Switzerland, USA, and many other countries. In the face of this sudden pandemic, scientific researchers are racing against time to save lives. Tocilizumab treatment developed from the USTC has contributed to the fight against COVID-19.